Good morning. I slept very well, I have to admit. This was a, a good night's rest. This hotel is amazing. It's um, first class all the way. So, good job, Imperial. They have an army of cleaners. Everywhere you look, someone's cleaning something. I mean, it's such an ornate place. Every little nook and cranny would collect dust and dirt, but you now there's someone attending to it all, so very, very good. Now I'm on my way to the Western Breakfast for some uh, free breakfast. The breakfast is in the same place as dinner last night, and they've got quite a spread. Again, continue to be impressed. The head chef, which is a, a dude from Europe, I think, came over and made sure I got my eggs just the way I wanted them. Uh, scrambled with ham and cheese, got some potatoes, bacon, and some vegetables. And uh, they have reserved seats, so as soon as you come in, they say, this is your table, so no one's gonna sit down at your table. I feel very spoiled. This is interesting, right next to the entrance to the restaurants area, you have a big ugly donkey he's actually pretty friendly and over behind him you have a giant cow and you can feed these guys what's up buddy what's up mr cow um <laughs> man if you're gonna come here bring your appetite it is so much food. It is luxury all the way. They have both a Western and a Chinese buffet. I did the Western one. I'm sure the Chinese one is just as busy and just as much food. I'm all checked out and I'm just waiting for my free shuttle back to, uh, well, it's not free, it came with it, but <laughs> back to Gongbei. And I've got another hotel, I'm checking in there and uh, then I'm gonna cross the border into Macau. But I have to uh, say that this resort, the uh, Imperial Hot Springs Resort and the Yu Wenqian, um, everything has been first class. It's well worth the money. Like I said, I, the hotel was about 150 bucks plus dinner and uh, I had lunch yesterday too. So in all, I spent a little less than $200 for 24 hours here. And the hot springs, the buffet, the service, the room, the good night's rest, the fresh air, I mean, I'll even admit, even my skin feels nice and soft from all the different types of pools and stuff. Uh, very friendly people. Uh, I had an amazing time and I recommend this place to anybody. It's a little out of the way. You really have to plan it to get out here. And it is a mainland China, so you have to have a visa. But this was probably the nicest hot springs I've ever visited. This place would be awesome if you brought a significant other and had a really romantic time. You, you can, there's lots of nooks and crannies and everything where you can be alone. It's also really good for families. There's a, a few children running around here and they have games for them and free fireworks over at the tennis court. Kids can enjoy this place just as much as adults. Bring some trunks and bring an appetite. The amount of food that they give you here is incredible. That breakfast was delicious. Last night's dinner was delicious. The lunch was delicious. They got snacks and fruit and drinks and everything in the hot springs area that you grub down on too. They say it's a health spa. <laughs> it's good for your health to come places like this, right? Not when they serve food like that. Not when you, not when you stuff your face. I made it back to Gongbei and uh, I checked into the L Hotel and it's, you know, a, just an average hotel. There's really nothing special about it. It's not even worth showing you. It's clean, it's new, uh, and it's fairly cheap. I'm playing about $40 to stay here tonight. But the reason why I picked this hotel is because it's extremely convenient for everything. It's literally the closest hotel to the border 
to the train station to the bus terminal. I got off my bus from uh, the resort, walked across the street, and now I'm at the hotel. It took five minutes to check in, and now I'm gonna um, head over the border. But you can see behind me, this is Zhuhai, the Gongbei area. And if you look over here, this here area, that is the roundabout for the border. In fact, this part right here is the actual plaza for Gongbei Port. Now, believe it or not, I have never stayed in a hotel in Macau. It's just expensive, and there's no reason for me to do it when I can stay in Zhuhai for less than half the price, walk across the street, and I'm in Macau. The problem with that is, is that the border is not 24 hours a day. So if I'm going to go over there and party with some friends, I have to be back across the border before, I think it's 11 o'clock. There is a 24-hour border crossing on the other side of the island, but uh, it, it's a little complicated and I've actually never tried it. Um, maybe sometime in the future I'll give it a shot. But uh, today I'm just going to go over for a quick little walk. I want to see some of the older parts of the town. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I'm in the lobby of the hotel and you can see just how convenient it is. That right there is the high-speed train station. Then you have the bus terminal, and then that is Gongbei Port. It's all at my doorstep. And then off in the distance, of course, is Macau.